Hi everybody, it's Trisha here from smithscraftcreations.com coming on with a project for all about that DSP um, just showing you other ways to use it um, we're on episode 24, it's 4th of March however, this will have been viewed earlier um, I'm going to try the new Facebook feature where you can upload a video to your business page and chat to people online as you're um, actually watching the video. So this will have been on my Facebook page on the 22nd of February, but on YouTube it will be up on the 4th of March. So what we're using today is um, Silhouette Scenes. Okay. All we're using is a sentiment from it. All right. Now I'm just going to grab a block just now while I remember. I have got some elements here. Okay, now let me explain exactly what we're doing. So I've taken probably the most popular um, DSP print out of the um, the DSP pack, which is the hexagons. Very nice. And I got the inspiration from the annual catalogue, but I've changed it slightly. Okay, so what I've got is I've got a Knight of Navy um, card with a Wisp of White insert. I've got a little scrap piece of the DSP that I'm going to line on the inside as well. So I'll keep that in there for the moment. I have Pacific Point cardstock, a beautiful, beautiful blue. Now, um, what I've done is I thought I want to emboss it and I want to use um, an embossing folder that I don't use a lot, even though I bought it for the purpose of using it. Um, so I got this... Um, Lovely C effect, but you don't need to use it with the just with the um, come sail away suite. So this is the high C's 3D embossing folder. So it is a good size. It's a square shape. What does it measure again? I forgot. I think it's six by six. Yep, it's a six by six. So perfect for cards six by six and smaller. So I've used that. So those are the two main products being used today. So I'm just going to pop them to the side. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to simply add this on here. Okay, I've got a little scrap piece from another one of the prints in the um, Sia Silhouette Designer Series paper. We're going to raise that up and we're going to stamp and emboss in our white stamping emboss powder. As simple as that. No ribbons, no twines, nothing. Okay, so a really, really easy project now. I need to um, get my glue, um, my heat gun out. So give me a wee second. I should have had that out beforehand. So I hope everybody's well. It's Saturday night. I'm being very boring tonight. Still resting, preparing for going back to work on Monday. Um, so I've had to put off plans to go to a family celebration. I've got to be selfish. Um, I know that if I go out, um, it's not the fact of being there, it's the fact that I've, I'll have had to get ready, the sit in conversation, conversating with people for too long. Um, although alcohol and wine is nice, it would floor me and it would catch up with me and I want to be back at work on Monday. So, Right, anyway, let's get on to this. So I think what I'll do is I shall emboss this first. Okay, now we do need a piece of scrap paper. I do not know where mine have went. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Let me use one of my coffee and card flyers. <laughs> For anyone that's local to me, I do uh, run a coffee and card. It's not in a coffee shop. It's in my local Thornton Town Hall in the, um, the room that I use for my crafting. And it's made basically a couple of cards. Um, a couple of simple cards or one kind of fancier card. Um, it's only £5, tea, coffee and biscuits. Um, more information under the events page on my website at smithscraftycreations.com. Everyone welcome. I had a, a little message from someone today wanting to come along with their sister next week. So that's absolutely amazing. So it shows that you know, we are connecting with people out there, so that is absolutely brilliant. Okay, now you need the stamping, um, stamping up embossing buddy, or whatever you have in your supplies, okay? We need a 
embossing stamp pad and I like the Versa mark. This is the official one for stamping, the Stampin' Up sale. However, um, I did have mine before I joined and it, it is one of the better ones. I've tried ones out with other craft stores and they're pretty pants compared to this to be honest. So I'm just making sure that I am, let me see now, um, applying plenty of the embossing ink. Okay, so I'll pop that to the side just now. I do need my little tweezers to pick it up once I've added the embossing powder. Now, I do have a selection. I've got silver now, finally. We have clear as well. If you wanted to stamp, say, in, in white, you could even add the clear on top of that. Um, but that wouldn't make sense because we have white embossing powder here. <laughs> so, yeah, so my husband's actually a way to drop... The kids off at my um, parents just now because they stay there on a Saturday evening. And um, look at that. And then he's going to visit his parents for an hour and then he's going to come home. And we're going to have beef stir fry. So that's nice. Nice quiet night. Relaxing. Right. Now. Let me get this powder away. If my fingers work. Right. Let me get my... Um, little pink chamois cloth, my microfiber one. Okay, right, I'm just going to hold this. I'm going to heat up the heat tool, then we're going to emboss it, and then we can build our card up. And we may use embellishments and add a little bit of white twine, possibly. I'm kind of thinking it'll look nice against the um, Pacific Point blue. Right, here it goes. I'm just going to heat that up a wee second. So I hope this is um, working out okay as I'm chatting via text uh, during this um, the showing of this video on Facebook page so fingers crossed right now here goes you can see it changing there we go I'm just moving it along and along and along love it yay done simple as that it looks really good against the blue, doesn't it? I love this. I love this same um, sentiment. So that's that done. Okay. Right, I am just going to unplug my heat gun and put that out the way because one only has so much space on her craft desk. And I was very lucky. I've been looking for a Kallax unit. Um, second hand, obviously, for a wee while. Can't afford a new one. At the moment, I can afford craft supplies though. <laughs> anyway, um, so seen someone was giving one away online, and I got in touch, and I've got a eight cube calyx unit with two drawer section as well. The only thing is, the bottom two the shelving separators missing, but that's absolutely fine. I am actually going to put my embossing a uh, my big shot on the bottom shelf, so that is working out perfect. And I'm going to store my embossing folders and my dies down there. Right, um, I am looking for the stamp set to put this back. Now, you could go a little further with, with this and use um, some stars, etc. from another set. But, um, I don't have any to hand. Um, oh, I do actually. Let's, um, let's use thoughtful balloons. Um, no, that's not a star. It looks like a star on here at the small side, but it's not. Right, let me quickly check if, I, if there's a star close to hand. Do, 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 do. Hang on, hang on. I'll go into my drawers. I hope uh, you don't mind me changing my mind at the last minute. Um, and I'm not going to bother, actually, because it's taken away too much time. Right, so, let's see, let's get my embellishment, my um, ribbons out. Now, I'm just going to pop away my verse mark and stuff. Okay, so, these all fit nicely in one of these um, storage cases. Something keeps catching though. I think then go somebody goes that way. There we go all-in-one little box. These are brilliant. I've got about 20 of them. 
Right, okay, so I'm thinking... I've got a little bag of scrap pieces of um, ribbon and I think I will make use of this bit. Now you can see it's kind of fallen to bits so I don't actually want that but I do have a roll of it. Now this is called flax ribbon and it's in Whisper White. Now I'm going to pop a little bit off each end of this. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put it the full length. I'm going to be a bit of a scrimper. And I am going to cut two pieces like that and stick them on. See? So that one goes at one end and that one goes at the other. And just stick it under at the back. Right, there we go. Problem solved. We are adding ribbon. I would suggest that for all your little offcuts of ribbon, do put them in a little polystyrene bag. Um, you don't know when they'll come in handy. It's just unfortunate that piece that I was going to use there was, has already been kind of used by me. So, right now we're going to. I'm going. I'm going to actually ruffle up the edges of this. So I'm just stepping up a little bit. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to add some Pacific Point around the edge of this Pacific Point um, embossed section. Okay. The reason I'm doing that, I know it's the same colour, because I want to fluff up the edges. And I find it's easier if the, the edges are slightly damp. You kind of get a nicer effect. Now, I, I can't remember the proper name for this technique. Um, if somebody wants to shout it out. I know you can get special tools and stuff from other craft companies, but if you've got something sharp enough, you can do it like this. So it's just to give it a little bit more... Oh, God, what's the word? A little bit more... Let's just see pizzazz. That will do. Now, it doesn't really matter what we... You pop this because we don't really need it to be looking like the ocean. Now, what I am going to do, and I'm actually going to mount this up with a matte layer of Whisper White. It might look okay, it might not. Let me see. Because we have the Whisper White here, I think it will make the card pop. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, I need to cut this down. So where is my little, um, I've got my little baby paper trimmer here. So I'm just going to actually eyeball it. Okay, so I just want an eighth of an inch. So what I'll do is I'll put a little mark there. I'll put a little mark, sorry I'm off screen. A little mark here. Then I know roughly where to cut it. I know I've said it before, but this is great because it's a little um, handy one. It saves getting out the big trimmer and it says sharpening, so you don't need to worry about replenishing any of the parts. But you can only get this if you join my team. So, we are running out of time for these uh, the celebration. Only one month and a bit left, guys and girls. And... Um, if you've been thinking about it, why not just go for it? Because before you know it, it's going to be 1st of April. It always goes in quick, I find. Right, okay, so I'm just putting the layer on now. <gasps> can you hear my tummy rumbling? I came home from craft class today to um, find that my darling husband had um, made broccoli soup. I showed him how to do it months ago, and he's made it a few times, which is great. Right, now, you can have this, obviously, with the emboss up the way, or if you want to do it on the reverse for a softer look, you could just turn it over. Um, but I want a nice, sharp uh, embossing look, so... I'm not worried about taking it too far to the edge. If it looks like it's lifting slightly, that's absolutely fine. I think that's nice. Let me just 
stick this one in as well while I'm here. I'm still using my teammate's um, glue. Mine seem to have clogged up or run out or something. Um, I do have another one there. I just keep forgetting to open it. Okay, so that's about straight. I'm going to get that. Right, now we just need to think about placement. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get my did did roller tape out, which is the snail adhesive. I always forget what side's sticky. Right, it's that side. What I'm going to do is add a little bit on there and a little bit on there because I do know that um our flax ribbon, etc., sticks to it really, really well. So you can see how that's quite a nice, nice look. I'm going to pop it on a bit closer like that. I think I'll need to possibly trim it down, depending on the placement of it on the card. So it's so quiet in my house. Look at that! Isn't that going to be very pretty? I do like that. Right, so let's get some dimensions. I don't know if there's any good movies on tonight, but I feel in the mood for a movie. Right, so I'm just going to pop some at the edge. I've had to... Um... Oh, my tummy's rumbling. Don't know if you can hear that. Uh, for my last couple of projects, I've had to turn to our annual catalogue for inspiration, which is why it's there as well. Not just to showcase the products, but to show you and give you inspiration. Um, even if you're maybe not keen on the colours or something, you can switch the colours up yourself So, and make it your own. And I will show you the difference between where this initial thought came from in the, in the catalogue and um, how different it is. So I had an hour one night where I I just sat and um, drew up some sketch ideas using the catalogue as inspiration. Right now, placement. I want it up towards the left at the top. Okay, now I'm going to keep it relatively straight isn't that pretty lovely card for teenage teenagers and this i think i'm just going to pop at the bottom i am going to trim it guys it's too whoops trim it not rip it off your card trisha i am going to trim it Right, be careful when you're trimming it down. I'm just going to make it tiny like that. Make sure you don't cut into your um, sentiment layer. Yeah, so I don't know if any of you guys are new to stamping. I'm going to pop that at the bottom. And I think I may add some white things in here but if you are new to stamping um, have a look at my blog or um, the history on um, this Facebook page because I um, I done a little blog post and a video about um, a fully inclusive kit that for an idea for people who are trying to get back into crafting or for a gift idea for under £50 so go and check that out. Um, really lovely, lovely um, all-inclusive kits that we have in our catalogues. I also have information on some of the kits on my website at smithscraftycreations.com and it is under, you'll find the information under, hmm, what's it under now? Kits. <laughs> I'm sure it's under kits. It's under shop with me and then there's a drop down where there's information on um, the kits that you can buy online. There's also information on the kits that um, I offer. Well, it's Product Suite Share 
crafting kits that I offer and it's a quarter share of um, a specific suite each month. Um, and it's a good way to get a hold of a little bit of everything in the suite if you're not really wanting to pay the full price. Not that I'm deterring anybody from buying the full suite at all, but um, it's a good way to kind of try before you commit yourself to the full suite. So, right, this is the, the card. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at the embellishments now. I'm not too sure if I want to add any. However, I have just saw the Happiness Blooms dots. Now, these are Night of Navy. Let me see, let me see. Haven't used these in ages. <gasps> How awesome would the yellow be? But I think I'll use some of the navy ones because I don't want them deterring away from the beautiful DSP and cardstock that we're using today. I think if I randomly pop, I should be using my take your pick tool. <laughs> You know what it's like, you just grab whatever's closest to you. So there's three little dots there. Isn't that cute? I need to change my grammar. Everything's cute just now. <laughs> it's not cute, this is quite a handsome card. It's quite scientific looking. There we go. Wow, do you like it? I do like it. There is our finished card. How long did that take? 20 minutes. Only because I was chatting too much. <laughs> Let's see if we can stamp something in the inside. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. You could do um, You Inspire Me. Or you could do Keep Dreaming. I think I'll do Keep Dreaming. And I think I'll stamp that. Let me see now. Hmm, I think I'll use Pacific Point. I do like this. Right, so we're also going to use the little the little um figure here. Right, let's see, does that fit on that block? Oh it just fits. Let me make this up. That's it, yeah, that's pretty much covered. Now when I do this I need to just press and hold it for one, two, three seconds. Let the ink, oh wow, let the ink transfer nicely. Particularly because it's a solid stamp, a solid um, image that we're stamping. How gorgeous, I do like that. And what I like to do is I like to, specifically with this um, Keep Dreaming one, is kind of pop it up there like she's um, pointing at it. Don't know how I've managed to get covered in ink. Don't know what's going on today. Pacific Point is quite, it's almost like lovely lipstick and that it gets everywhere. Once it's on your hands, that's you. There's no going back. Right, now, um, I'm trying to think of another colour to use. I think I'll use real red. I want this card to be nice and colourful in the inside as well. And again, real red is a really juicy, juicy, kind of gets everywhere kind of colour. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stamp it this way. I think that's nice. I think that's nice. Okay, and what we're going to do is... Get the ink out of the way first. I don't mind when um, tutorials are kind of into the 20 minute zone because if it's a premiere or if we're chatting, I think, I think it's important to have enough time to chat properly. Okay, right, I think what I'll do... Now, I don't normally... I don't normally add... Um, what do you call them? Embellishments on the inside. But because these are the faceted dots, I think it is the faceted dots, yeah. They're quite thin. Right. So I'm just basically randomly 
plopping some of the colours down. I know these aren't um, coordinating on the front, but I think it looks nice. And there we go. That is our finished card. A few have been chatting here and this um, chat has been going well while I um, practice it on this um, chat as you view on Facebook. Hopefully it's worked okay. Um, if you're watching in March for the DSP um, scheduling of this, this is on a premiere as well. So if you've been here chatting, thank you so much too. Um, and I hope you like the project. Um, if you have that set, pull it out. Um, don't be shy to try something different. Oh, I was going to show you the catalogue image, wasn't I? This is my little catalogue folder for all my master copies. So let's see. Let me find your silhouette. Silhouette scenes even. One, three, four. So I want to show you. Yes, <laughs> completely different. This was the initial inspiration. Now, I don't have the coordinating dies for this set, unfortunately. Uh, they've used that lovely um, dandelion thing there. But you can see where the initial inspiration came from and how I made it my own. So, um, if you're stuck for ideas, just go back to your catalogue. If you don't have a catalogue or a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, I'll happily send you a catalogue for free, but... Um, if you want to choose me as your demonstrator and order through me, I will send you a catalogue for free, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. I'm away now to hopefully um, have husband putting my beef stir-fry on soon. Take care, guys. Love to you all, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye now.